This is going to be a what's sold video from this week, um, starting Monday to Sunday, uh, which I think is because it's August 25th. Um, I'm going to be including items that have sold for over $50 and let's get straight to it. All right. This is what's sold between August. What is it? August 19th to the August 25th. This is a little breakdown of our numbers, top selling brands. Levi's, Patagonia, Buck Mason, Birkenstock, Hoka. Here, I'm not gonna go deep into our analytics right now, but it is something that I do look after very often and it's super important to me because, well, you really need to understand where your money's going and what you're doing what you're doing wrong. Anyways, let's get straight to this. Everything is gonna be in here in like $50 or more. Our first item here is Ed Hardy, J, Y2K hoodie. Um, yeah, I think for around $60. One I think we had for a while. Pretty cool, has a sequiny. I think you could get more for that sometimes. Next, Big Bud Press, Lazy Daisy, Everyday Long Sleeve. You can see this is the Big Bud Press. This is a really good brand. Um, we picked this one up and it sold on eBay for $140. So yeah, and it's because of this print there's a sells for a lot anyways, but this print sells for a little bit more. <clears throat> Next, the real McCoys, um, Boston mule style. Um, honestly got really lucky on this. McCoys, I just took it because, oh no. Uh, actually the reason why I took it is because of the Vibram sole looking like this. I was like, there's no brand that's going to really do that. I didn't look too into it. Um, I was just my style because the mule is really good and it happened to be the real McCoy's so this one sold for $200 on Grailed. Really good. Next this is also Birkenstock but this is like a boot. Um, you don't really see these too often um, but Birkenstock's even good for boots. So yeah this one I think sold for like $60 or $70. Next this is a Danner Pronghorn Realtree. Um, 400 gram insulated You can see here size 12. I had this one for a while um, But yeah, I did sell it for hundred seventy dollars here on Poshmark. Poshmark takes like 20% so that's a lot of money. This is lucky brand um, Y2K Asian floral sweatpants. So this brand right here lucky brand it is a really good line with these nice little uh, Japanese Asian um, any type of like print that's kind of nice these surprisingly sell for a lot of money this one i think sold for a hundred twenty dollars or something like this so yeah and i got this at the bin anything so it's a pretty crazy profit this one uh splits 59 i have this is the only item i ever sold of this brand um someone told me to try it out it it's actually really good um for leggings i didn't know uh leggings could uh, leggings could really sell like this but actually that's why like you got to continue learning um this one sold for 65 dollars here on depop which is really good next this is a bread and butter vintage 90s levi's 501 um made in usa i think price which is 60 or yeah for 60 dollars but that's just simple alpha industries this one sold for 75 alpha industry bomber jackets are really good um so i see picking them up this one sold for 75 dollars next a vintage polo ralph lauren uh switzerland rugby rugby uh, kind of rare to find it's on that vintage blue polo ralph lauren tag yeah this one these type of prints are just really looking like these wraparounds or stripes or long sleeve polos are just really in right now. I was just sometimes putting even like prep B or old money that helps sell it. But this one sold for 75 with a bundle. Someone else got something else. I think it was another Switzerland. And this is a vintage Levi's 5 Eyes 501 uh, made in USA, 90s. This one sold for $65. Kind of a nice fade on this. Nothing too crazy on that one. That's, this is also bread and butter. Um, this is on cloud. These cloud monster models are really.
really good. Um, this one is very clean, so it sold for kind of a lot. But even the lower end on, you can get like forty dollars. But this model is always getting is getting people to pay up for, uh, usually over seventy. This one I've had. Um, this is a rare vintage '97 MLB. Um, really cool print. I'm actually surprised how long this one took to kind of sell. Um, but yeah, Dodgers are super hot. Vin and finding a vintage Dodgers shirt is quite hard. Um, but yeah, this one I think sold for just above $50. This one got 21 likes before it uh, sold. This is a Levi's Premium Baggy Dad Jean. And it has this kind of really wide cut. And more people are, would, are after and a lot of people would just leave this one back. Baggy Dad. Um, but this is just to show that this Levi's Premium and like uh, the modern modern uh, cuts of Levi's are really good. Levi's is really good. Um, a lot of people pissed, but the Baggy Dad, for example, sold for a lot of money. It only took like a week to sell too. Next, it's Gucci. It's old Gucci. It's horse bit. Bit Gucci is good. Really highly sought after. Um, yeah, this one sold for. $180. Yep, that's Gucci. Essential Sphere of God Cherry Blossom t shirt. Other than, there's not a lot of Fear of God with prints. Kind of stands out now. $55 for a t shirt. That's kind of crazy. Um, this uh, John Ravados um, Converse. These are really good. I love this uh, line. It's probably the best line of Converse. It's even um, Comme de Garcon, in my opinion. <clears throat> one huge yellow see-through sole tells you um, this one could, looks kind of basic but yeah this one I think sold for $75 this isn't right I don't know why I said that's a lot of money for shoes here we got another pair of Gucci these are like cap toe old style these ones sold for $160 Next, this is a really cool one, Rare Vintage Wu-Tang Clan, uh, like sweater. I just looked at it and when I picked it, it was very loud so I wanted to look at what it was. Um, but this is the tag on it. There's a, a bunch of other prints as well, about a hundred dollars. This one sold for $120. Um, yeah, so that, that's a good thing to know I guess if you didn't know. This is a designer brand Claire V striped ruffle sleeve dress. Honestly, very beautiful. Um, yeah, in the back, a little Clarivy hit there. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, this one I see, I've seen their store down on Sunset. Um, it's quite nice. This one sold for nine five dollars. Yep. <clears throat> Next, this was a new brand. I think I've heard of the Mohawk General Store smock, but this is the smock. Um, but I never had picked it up. So, just nice, uh, very minimalistic, even a little faded on this one. Sold for $50 pretty quickly, I think within two weeks. Now this is a pretty good one, and honestly I might have messed up on this one. This one I think sold in like one day. Um, someone had resold the top, so maybe that's what made it so desirable. Uh, Maddie said we should have probably listed it for 300 so we did, I guess. This probably did sell under market, but these are John Bravado's Italy horse bit engineer boots. I didn't, I didn't mark it, um, but these are honestly beautiful. So I saw him pay $225 for this one plus shipping. Really good. Now this is an affliction uh, like denim jacket, I believe. Has all these really nice features to it. Beautiful, beautiful affliction, um, black premium. We have here white 2k grunt. Um, this one sold for $120. This is a boot brand I really like, which is the Thursday Boot Company, and this is in a women's, which I don't find very often. Um, cap toe, distinguished by these little circle things, and the Thursday handmade in small batch Thursday Boot Company. They're really good. Uh, this is a pair of Birkenstocks. These ones sold for $105. Of course, Birkenstocks sell really well like that um yeah not much more to say the mule if you see the birkenstock mule you can often even pay up uh this is a vintage iron maiden uh 
full zip hoodie. Really cool, sold for $79. Had this cool Iron Maiden sleeve hit. This is the brand, the APX Independent uh, Trading Company um, subline. So I've seen that there's other ones on APX, so be look on the lookout for that. 2XL size, really cool. Um, that one took a little bit to sell though. This one is a vintage CC Filson charm bar. <clears throat> Just beautiful, um, nice color, of course, good fading. Um, the only thing is this one was at a small size, so probably would have charged a lot more if it was large or extra large. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Some cowboy boots in here. And by the way, a lot of people don't realize I sell as much shoes as I do because like, I, I kind of even in the videos, it's like very towards the end, you know? Um, but you can see how much shoes I'm selling here. So these are the Tony Llama boots. I sold for $85. Um, I'll get 73 on that. Really quick within one week or so. Um, yeah, cowboy boots are really good, especially in men's sizes. Uh, this is a Patagonia Prima Loft, sold for $125. Um, this type of quilting you can see in this picture is actually adds a lot of value to uh, puffer jackets. Being like, but this one's called the Nano Puff. It just goes for a lot more. Like normal puffers uh, don't even sell; they sell for like half as much. Um, this is new. The Hoka would be on the list. This one's a very clean pair, and I've noticed that the pink colors and like the womanly colors, those sell really well for us. And another thing to note: Clifton Nine. The higher the number, the newer it is. I think we might even be at. But the Clifton is the standard. It's their flagship product, and yeah, then this is the most modern. So sold for eighty dollars. Now this is a funny one. Online ceramic, uh, this is a world piece, hands up high. Um, I don't know too much about this print, honestly. Um, but anyways, I got this in a mystery bag. It was like one of the first items I got. Uh, the bag cost like $15 and I got this out of it. So it was already up and there's a bunch of other shirts in there too. Um, but pretty cool to get that one. Uh, this one's the most recent video, which is Lauren Moshi, Lena Tiger. Doesn't really comp well on, on eBay, but on Poshmark, it was like, there was some prints that were just not there. Like, and it has kind of like an infinite sell-through rate because there's no items listed. Um, and yeah, so this brand, this brand uh, doesn't even look good if you comp it on, on eBay terms, but it's good on Poshmark. This one as well, this brand Daily Drills. You can also kind of see the traction on this. No one even liked it. It didn't even get a like. It, <laughs> that's how fast it sold. This one got to build daily drills. A lot of traffic, a new brand to me. Definitely look out for this label. Really good, $55. Um, they really like that brand. Uh, Aviation, $60 sold here on Depop. Actually kind of low for this, I think most would say, but some flaws um, with like some discoloring. So like this one we didn't like, so we're like, okay, we'll just charge really low for it. And that turned out. Here we got a Mercari sale, $70 for this piece, uh, the coral uh, embroider. This one sold like within two days, I think. Just a really cool, uh, these are handmade. Um, so yeah, people really like it. Uh, like a nice pair of Arizona Bir Birkenstocks. Um, just in really good condition and in a bigger size, which 46, you can see it's size 13. Much of this on the market in the, the you know, resale market. So this one sold for more than a typical Arizona of this condition sizing. Uh, more on clouds. This is also quite fine. The Cloud Nova um, is also decent. Yeah, sold for $70 on Depop. This is probably my least favorite. Just Personally, I don't like it. Um, yeah, out of fives or the Cloud Swifts, I think it's this one. Um, this one sold for 65. Um, yeah. Next, Hoka sold 65. So you can see I'm selling a good portion of these high-end shoes here on Depop. Um, yeah, just uh, some Clifton Nines, modern, modern style, good, decent enough tread. Um, women's kind of good colorway, I think. 
Um, yeah. Sold for 65. Rothies. <laughs> Bunch of Rothies in here. Um, yeah, this one sold for $60. These uh, sneakers are kind of highly sought after. 70 for these Converse, Converse songs. These honestly, like, uh, they're just in good condition. Like, uh, really taken care of. Pretty clean, you can see. Sold for more because of the condition, honestly. Now this is one of the best sales we had with the Air Carnivore Comme de Garçon. This one sold for $157. Um, which is cool. Yeah. And then Mercari, there's no fees, so that's $150 we got. Disconnected. This one was surprising because I think this one sold next day. Um, just a pair of Vapormax Flynets for uh, $90. Men's size 12. These ones are hard to get in like decent enough condition because up like we don't, I don't personally want to sell it. Teaks for $81. Good condition. Teaks is a really good brand. Um, they make these ballet flats that just sell for so much money. I just don't get it. This is a pretty good sale and pretty cool one. Uh, Converse uh, 1980s uh, fast breaks. Interesting wear, um, which is kind of cool. Um, I listed these for 200, but I accepted an offer for 110, I believe. But yeah, made in Korea. These are just cool. Um, sold really quickly, actually. Let's see this. It's pretty good. This one did not sell for 125. I think it was 105. Basket case gallery, I think. But this, uh, <clears throat> this is a Zach. This is a Zach Kininger. But basket case gallery, man, man, it's really strong right now. 105. Just a little thermal piece. Um, this is a diesel cardigan sweater. Size XL, made in Italy, sent to us, we just, we thought this would sell for a lot more, but it didn't end up selling for really that much, but it's still really cool. Diesel is a brand we still love to pick up. This YSL uniform, it <laughs> said, um, the irony, sold for $75, and yeah, it's just, um, just attire for designer actually goes pretty fast uh, i think this is actually sold like next day as well um anyways that's basically it for the items that we sold that were above 50 dollars. i hope that's digestible enough um soon enough um but this is from last monday to sunday so you know anyways please if you like this video give us a follow and yeah we'll see you on the next video